everyone, my name's Lawrence Mann, freelance illustrator, concept artist and Corel Master Painter. You may notice that today my desk looks a bit bare. Where's my Wacom Cintiq you might ask? Okay, well actually at the moment it's sat out of sight under my desk. Why? Well it's being protected and I've cleared my desk today for another unboxing. Now you might have seen a box on my desk that looks very similar to this. Maybe one a bit smaller though. There you go. You'll notice the JustStand.org label right there. The nice people at Ergotron have uh, have blessed me with another parcel. So let's open this up and take a good look at what's inside. Right, here we go. Nice and simple enough. Okay, this box is a lot bigger than the box for my previous Ergotron arm. <sighs> How big's that? In comparison, uh, you yeah. know. Bit bigger. The last Wacom I was using, I had for four and a half to five years, and that was the Wacom 21UX, which was a lovely Cintiq and it really did me well. But now that I've moved on up to the latest Wacom Cintiq, the 27QHD Touch, which is their latest top of the range model, and believe me, it really shows in the quality. I, I need an Ergotron that really, really shows that as well. Um, that's built to support something like this. Now, I had a good chat with the folks at Ergotron and the LX arm that I had maybe could have supported it. It was at the top of its weight limit. So I've decided to upgrade my Ergotron and go for the LX sit stand desk mount LCD arm instead. So, on opening the box, the first thing I've found, rather nicely, here we go. Again, it's nice to find immediately on top the instruction manual. There we go. Just as with the previous arm that I bought, the Wacom Cintiq that I'm using doesn't have the standard VESA layout on the back which is a 100 by 100 millimeters now you might not understand what this means but VESA is the whole configuration for mounting your screen on most monitors Wacom's other screens will have these four holes in the back one two three four doop doop um, for mounting onto a wall or onto an Ergotron or something like that. And this is called the VESA, V-E-S-A configuration. And the standard configuration is 100 millimeters apart, so it's a nice square. However, the Wacom Cintiq 27QHD Touch that I'm using doesn't use this standard, it uses 200 by 100, so it's a rectangle, 200 across, 100 down. Now I can see straight away in the instruction manual this does come with an adapter which is absolutely fantastic, brilliant. Now, good set of instructions, always makes me feel really really confident about putting something as uh, mechanical as this together. Although I'm a bit of a geek anyway, so it doesn't upset me. Right, piece of cardboard off. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, this is going to be a two-tier operation looking at this. We have this. I can see the Ergotron. lovely shiny metallic arm 
and this is a one piece polished aluminium machined arm and that's absolutely gorgeous the quality of this really does show and everything just lines up perfectly yeah that's absolutely great and that's obviously one of the three main parts that come to creating our our arm which we're going to put together we've also got base grommets clamps greasy looking <laughs> yeah pre-greased plastic um, caps yeah <laughs> my fingers are incredibly greasy now um, let's pop that back in the bag we've got other end caps, rings an 8mm socket that's pretty cool so I'm getting decent tools, not throwaway tools, that's, a, that's actually a decent socket. That's pretty cool. The great thing is these bags are all sectioned off and all the, all the sections for all the screws, all the tools, they're all named and marked. Here we go, here's another one. This one, for instance, there we go. That one actually has instructions printed onto the bag as well. That's pretty awesome. It's larger than the LX, the standard LX arm. And I'm saying that now just as I uh, see the the main piece of the arm for the first time. So, so yeah. But this arm has to be able to support a larger Wacom. The thing I was worried about with the, the standard LX arm that I was previously using was that this new Wacom is bigger. I was worried about the arm dipping with the extra weight. And I've seen this on other people's YouTube videos that their Wacom is too big for whatever arm they're using and dips. It just rests on the table. It's not how it's supposed to be. So, yeah. Here it is. This is the big boy. That is the the upper arm. The upper arm. It's pretty amazing. That is the main Ergotron right there. Imagine that with a Wacom on the end. That's pretty impressive. That's quite a size difference to the LX Ergotron that I was using before. Okay, so I'll pop this back in for a second. Okay, uh, this is looking great. Whew, I'm out of breath now after lifting that. <laughs> that was heavy. I am out of breath. <sighs> we have tools. Yeah, okay. Um, in the top tier, we'd seen a lot of bags of screws and nuts, and there was one bag of tools, but yeah. Wow, there are three Allen wrenches right there. Allen, Allen, and Allen. I have never seen so many Allens in a room before. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a comedian. I'm an illustrator. And a couple of cable ties. That's probably to kind of put anybody's wrist like that if they do any bad Allen jokes. 
Um, it's great that they're actually supplying you with these three different sizes because I think that you've got a company here like Ergotron that have put so much time and effort building this that they've also supplied you with a set of Allen keys that are the right size, they're good quality and then they've also bagged them up like this so you don't get confused over which one's which and it's easy to find and you know I've put one of these together before and it went perfectly it went really smoothly so yeah it's nice to see the tools again last time there weren't so many <laughs> so I'm expecting this to be a bit of a bigger job but touch polystyrene it'll be perfect okay so one more thing to come out Excalibur apparently um, this is the pole and the clamp this is a lot bigger than my last one the last pole I had only came less than halfway less than half the size okay so this is the clamp so normally the desk would fit under here like so however I'm going to take this section off I'm not going to use the clamps I'm going to bolt this directly onto my desk to make it sturdier the craftsmanship of each individual piece really comes through I haven't seen a blemish or a mark this is all industrial grade equipment you know to be honest it looks like with the right set of instructions I could build a terminator out of what's here you know really you're telling me this thing doesn't look like it should just have a hand on the end you know but there are quite a few components here we only have one two three main ones but we have more than enough nuts and bolts we have all the tools we have grommets and clamps etc etc but we have a good set of instructions I'm pretty sure I won't need to call anyone but yeah I think we're ready to crack on today I'm going to be walking you through how to install the Ergotron LX sit stand desk mount LCD arm onto the Wacom 27Q HD touch sounds like a bit of a mouthful well I can assure you it's not actually that difficult I could have gone for the Ergo stand instead but I've decided to go for the Ergotron LX sit stand arm because I feel it has slightly better range of motion it's different in terms of cost but realistically doesn't make that much of a difference so I've just decided to go for it because I've used Ergotron arms before I like them I just feel that I like the tilting motion it goes like that which you don't get in the Ergo stand that comes from Wacom and I feel that you have the ability to move it up to eye level more which unless you have that ability in your desk itself so now for me I'm going for the Ergotron arm and this arm is the best arm for this tablet because it's quite a heavy tablet 
So I'm going to walk you through now how to actually set this up. I've also got an overview video if you want to know the features of this arm where you can see the arm already set up. But if you want to see how to set this up, you know, if you're thinking, oh, is this a bit complex, or you've just bought one and you want to know how to do it, if you're a bit like me where pff, instructions, I'll just watch somebody do it, you know. I don't do that when frying an egg or doing stuff like that, so, but no, totally do. YouTube everything. But I've got the instruction manual here. Let's get cracking. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a quarter inch head ratchet. Now, I won't be using the ratchet because I'm not using the actual desk clamp. I'm going to drill a hole through the desk and actually clamp it onto my desk that way. So I will actually need the ratchet. We'll have a quick flick through here before we actually get started, just so you can see the guides themselves. First page is obviously the components page. Yep, and this just lists everything out that we've been through. Obviously just check everything off and make sure that everything is in the kit. Next couple of pages here. Again, everything is just beautifully illustrated and it just goes over all the details of how to do different things. Now, the first stage is obviously, do you want to use the clamp or do you want to use the grommet hole? Now, I'm going to be showing you how to do the grommet hole part. I'm not clamping this one. I did actually use the clamp on the last Ergotron arm that I had and I found that was absolutely great. But since I am keeping this Ergotron arm long term, I've decided that I'm completely happy to drill a hole through this rather expensive desk. Or should I say, to get a friend to drill a hole through this rather expensive desk. Next page just talks about the tilt and rotation of the monitor. Because we're using a Wacom, obviously I want a little more freedom to have the maneuverability. I don't want to lock my monitor perfectly still. I want as much maneuverability on the arm as possible. Obviously I want a little bit of friction because I don't want it flopping all over the place while I'm trying to draw. This page to us is very, very important because the Wacom 27 QHD Touch doesn't have the standard 100 by 100 VESA pattern like most tablets and monitors. It uses the 200 by 100 VESA pattern, so we're going to have to use the adapters. Here's the layout for using the standard 100 by 100. And again, a different layout for a, a different VESA adaption pattern. So on. And then we run through mounting the extension and the arm onto the pole. Then the instructions talk about organising the cables, which is absolutely great. It's one of those lovely little additional features that makes the Ergotron arm really, really great, especially for Wacom users. And then we'll talk about finally adjusting the setup, which is Again, even more important for, for tablet users. We need to have that level of control because we're not having it perfectly still and stiff. We need the right balance of movement. And that's just a continuation of that.
was made out of wood, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, no. Okay, so with the help of my good friend Stephen, I've drilled the hole now, and that was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be, and a lot less heartbreaking. We've got a nice hole there through my desk, that can never be undone. <laughs> so it's time to move on to the next stage. All we have to do is take the pole here, and take the clamp off of the pole, which looks fairly straightforward. So that's that stage, that stage complete now. I need to collect the bolt and the lower grommet, which is this piece and this bolt. I can simply thread the bolt, making sure that the bolt clips into place. Now I make sure these recesses are this way up and I need to use the same screws that I took out. Now I can double check I was correct about the recesses because of the recesses on the plate that I've just taken out. So that is now complete. Okay, time to move on to the next stage. So, all that's left for me to do is put these on. There we go. The instructions also say that uh, caution must be taken and that the bolt must be centered with the hole. That seems pretty easy. There we go. I could of course tighten this with a spanner, a uh, pair of mole grips or something as well, but I don't need to. Okay, so we've got the Wacom Cintiq on the desk here. And we've got our arm with the VESA adapter all set up. We've taken note of our instruction manual. We know which setup it is that we have to use here. So we know what we're doing. And I've already taken a look at the manual as well and I know exactly which screws it is from the packet here because Ergotron have supplied us with three different types of screw so I know exactly which type of screw I need I've already looked at the back of the Wacom and identified which type of screw fits and it's this type here the Phillips screw M4 12mm I know that because it's the only type that will fit just like the three bears, these ones were too fat, these ones were far too big, and these ones were just right. So, all I have to do now 
is flip this over so I can screw the arm to the Wacom. Now the best thing to do so I don't scratch my Wacom or damage it is use a towel or maybe you know an old t-shirt something like that and just cover the surface of my Wacom here. There you go. Nothing wrong with a bit of self promo. Okay, so I'll just flip this over. Now, there are six screw holes, but I'll only be using four of them. I'm gonna just drop one screw into the hole to make it easier for myself and line that up onto the whack on like so remember always use a hand screwdriver never an electronic screwdriver and then go to the opposite corner And there we go. Okay, so let's get started with pretty much the final major stage, which is mounting the secondary arm onto the pole and then mounting the major arm with the Cintiq onto that. Okay. Our instructions say to take one of these lovely greasy caps and place that onto the pole. However, the first thing I'm going to do is move this ring downwards. On the drawing, it looks like that is a lot further down than it is here. This is how it came, so I'm going to need to move that down. I'm going to go with about one quarter of the way down, maybe two thirds of the way down. We can always move it back up later on. There we go. Take one of these lovely greasy rings. Slide the arm on. The other greasy ring. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't lose any of the grease here. It doesn't say that in the instructions, but I'm just trying to be aware of it. Yeah, grease. Okay, now the next stage is placing the Wacom on. This is obviously quite a feat in itself. The Wacom Cintiq is very heavy, so I have to be very careful. The arm itself is quite heavy, so this whole thing is going to be quite tricky you might want to ask for somebody's help when doing this. I don't have anybody here with me at the moment, so I'm just gonna to have to be very, very careful. Okay. So there you go. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. I still think if you're unsure, you should definitely get somebody to help. Right, let's move on to the next step. So, bolt, washer, and an end cap. Again, going back to the 4mm Allen wrench. Perfect. Rubber ring around the lower arm, the secondary arm. I did wonder what that ring was for, that makes sense. And then this 
Okay, so I just drop this in and pop the cap on. And that's the mount extension arm and pole put together. So the next thing we have to do is we just have to take our little cable ties here, there you go, take our little cable ties, we've got two of those in the pack and we've got these tiny little loops here and we're just going to make sure our cable ties are the right way around, bend them in half like this. Bend them in half as if we're going to tie them but not yet and we're just going to put them onto the little loops there we go just like that so you can see them just hanging off there there you go so you can just see them hanging down then I'm going to grab the cables that are coming out of my Wacom here, pull them down but not too tight. One I don't want to damage my Wacom obviously, so I'm going to be very careful as I have been during this whole process. And I'm going to, and two, I want to make sure that I've got plenty of slack for when my uh, Agatron is moving around. So I'm going to feed these cables underneath. Remember my cable ties aren't tied yet so I don't want to knock them out. All I'm going to do is just, while I'm holding these in place with one hand, I'm just going to tie the cable tie with the other. Bit tricky, but I can do that. You might have to use your teeth. As I'm on camera, I'm not going to do it because it might be a little undignified. Things are always a little trickier on camera because you know you're trying to look professional, you're up against the clock. You might want to leave them a little slacker at first just until you've got everything in place. Right, there we go. So that's so that's it for now. Part two is to uh, take the plastic part of the secondary arm, the lower arm off. We'll just uh, pop that down anywhere for now. Doesn't matter where. And we're just going to get our cables again. What we're going to do is we're going to feed these cables through here. Again, remember not to pull them too tight. Now you notice I've done this while the Ergotron arm is bent at an angle like this. Brilliant. The reason for that is to make sure that it's got enough slack for, for movement. Right, there you go. If I'd have done it when it was perfectly straight, I might have gone to bend my arm and the cables might have had too much pull on them. Now all I need to do is grab a pair of scissors and just snip the end of these cable ties. And be sure you're cutting the cable ties and not cables. This was one of the tools that actually, one of the things that really, really impressed me when I opened the uh, box. Uh, I don't know why I was really impressed by this, but I was. Yeah, um, a 5mm 
very, very long Allen wrench. Yeah. Don't know why, but there you go. And I knew straight away what it was for, but... <laughs> I suppose I'm a big child, really. But then again, you know, I've got a massive Cintiq and I've an Ergotron arm. And obviously, you know, I draw sci-fi and fantasy art for a living. So part of wanting the Ergotron arm was because it's very sci-fi to me. So, of course, a big child like me was going to be blown away by something so stupid as <laughs> something so, yeah, sci-fi as a giant 5mm Allen wrench. So, the first thing we have to do, looking at the instruction manual, is to adjust our arm for lift. Easily done, you say. So, to adjust the tilt for the Wacom, going back and forth this way, all I have to do is adjust this screw here from underneath, as per the instructions right there, using the 4mm. It's really just a case of finding what works for you. It stays in place, it's nice and stiff. I can have a go with that, try it out for a few hours here and there, see what I like, and just use the Allen wrench to come back and tighten it up if I don't like it. And the same with all the other joints as well. Okay, so here we are. Pretty much this is it. We're using the 5mm really long wrench and pretty much all we have to do now is just make the final adjustments like the tilts. So yeah, now we're just doing the lift. So there's a 5mm bolt that runs all the way through this and it's a bit hard to get to in there, which is why we have this really long wrench here. So we just reach in there. See, it's relatively easy. What I'm looking for is the point where I can lift the Wacom up and it stays in midair. Now, when that is achieved, I've done my job. And I can move on to the next part, which is the Wacom tilting in that direction. This might take a while. Doo -doo. The Ergotron LX sit stand desk mount arm. It's absolutely brilliant and it does everything. For my Wacom, 27QHD touch. That's a lot to remember, isn't it? But it's completely, totally worth it. Okay, I've talked to you a lot already about this. If you subscribe to my channel, then you'll have already heard me witter on about it endlessly. It's absolutely brilliant, and I love my Cintiq to bits. But, I have to say, as much as I love my Cintiq, one of the reasons I absolutely love it is because of the Ergotron arm. Yep, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, you can buy the official Wacom stand, but I have to say the Ergotron LX sit-stand arm is fantastic because of the range of motion that it offers. You can see I can take my hands away, yep, yeah, and my Wacom is actually floating. Now, it offers a fantastic range of motion, as you can see. There you go. Not only that, but it fully rotates as well. So I can actually 
have my Wacom sit that way up, I can bring it all the way over and outside of my desk here. There you go. That's absolutely fantastic. So I can have my Wacom sitting on my lap while I draw. I can actually rotate it and have it portrait and I can hold the remote as well so I don't have to press buttons up here like I used to do on older models of Wacom Cintiqs. Absolutely cracking. Carry on drawing and of course I can even stand up and carry on. There we go. So I have my full range of motion. You can see the build quality for yourself. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks a good job. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrencemann.co.uk. I'll see you next time.